Estonian finally lose to Aberdeen as Rangers continue their fantastic start to the season. They're out on their own at the moment, but can Celtic get themselves back into it? We'll take a little look as we edge closer to match number seven. We've got all the predictions and, of course, the latest results next. prediction show today we're looking forward to match day number seven out in the scottish premiership and we'll get to that in just one second if you're new to the channel smash your subscribe button to keep you bang up today with all things scottish premiership related blackburn rovers related world football related we're gonna all here under one roofski that's right of course uh into the international break or you know we're, we're, we're side swiping through the international break as of right now um and i'm actually recording this ahead of schedule on the 2nd of september yes goodness gracious me uh, but yes uh, we'll talk more about the latest batch of fixtures and of course your predictions and all that kind of stuff in just a second. I want a big shout out to the Patreon gang for supporting the channel as they do. Uh, yeah, much love to you guys. Tremendous support as you keep on doing. So keep it go, keep it going, guys. Keep on going. If anyone else is out there and was thinking about joining the gang and the VIP Patreon gang, uh, check out the old description links to my other social media platforms on the uh, uh, Patreon, Twitter, Facebook. It's all in there. So make sure you check that soccer out. So yes, uh, Hibs slip up against Aberdeen at home, uh, Easter Road, uh, Easter Road, and Rangers, of course, uh, continue their unbeaten and start Celtic also back into contention as well and Aberdeen looking very very good so let's jump into the deep end and take a little look at of course uh, the predictions and all that kind of jazz as we as we look back on match day number six so yes indeed these were the games my pickaroon is on the left the results are on the right Kilmarnock opened up uh, an impressive 4 0 win over Dundee United I actually went with a 2 0 win myself the goal scorers on, there, on this day was Nicky Canabara he got himself a couple of goals Eamon Brophy as well and Rory McKenzie big big result that for uh the Super Jays up to seventh now in the table. Uh, meanwhile, Dundee United looking a little bit ominous at the moment. Back-to-back -back defeats for them. Uh, meanwhile, Livingston uh, and Ross County, that ended up as a 1-0 win for Livingston. Again, they got themselves up and moving, finally. Uh, John Guthrie with one and only goal on the 64th minute. Carl Tadamako get himself sent off for Ross County. Uh, next up, we have the Super Jays. They took on St. Mirren and they won 1-0. I got this one. Bang on the nose, boys. Bang on the pissing nose. Uh, the only goal, Stevie May on the 72nd minute to give Super Johnson, uh, Super John, uh, St. Johnson uh, a big old boost up to 7th in the table now. Uh, Hamilton Academicals, they, of course, they lost to Rangers at home. 2-0 in the end. Comfortable win for Rangers. Uh, Hadji on the score sheet and James Tavener as well. Scott McMahon got himself sent off for Hamilton. Celtic also got themselves back, uh, continued their uh, uh, rebound, of course. Uh, uh, now, what's that? Two wins on the spin for Celtic. In the in the Champions League, or, uh, in 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 the Premiership, of course, Champions League is a touchy matter. We're not talk about that. Three 0 in the end. James Forrest, Ajeti, and Christopher Julien uh, on the score sheet for Celtic. I actually, remember the three one win myself. Uh, so close to the money, and of course, at the end there, Aberdeen did bit pick up a victory. One 0 winners over Hibs, uh, the one and only goal from the penalty spot. Lewis Ferguson uh, to uh, to to put Aberdeen three wins on the spin. That's right. Goodness gracious me. So that's the situation. Of course, last time around, let's take a look at how I got on. I actually got uh, four out of the six. That's pretty good. Pretty good for me. Um, so let's take a look at how you guys got on then. I'll remind us, uh, of course, of the criteria. Before that, I want to take a look at the table. Rangers lead the way at the moment with uh, 19 points. Uh, three points clear of Hibs are in second. Celtic are third, of course. Two games in hand. Uh, win both of those and they'll go joint top with Rangers. Uh, Re Aberdeen also got a couple of games in hand. They win no both of those. They could also uh, go as high as second as well. So uh, at the foot of the table, Hamilton are struggling. Motherwell as well, but I'm sure it's only a matter of time before Motherwell start climbing the table. Anyway, uh, just to remind you, of course, we are live and active in the All Prediction League and we'll take a look at the latest standings in a second uh, but I'll remind you of course this is the criteria 0 to 1 you're in the straight face gang 2 to 4 you're in the straight face club and if you get 5 or more you're in the top banana let's have a little look at that and add it shall we uh, Joel Cook not too bad Cody Ho respect to you for being a Patreon I hope you still are uh, Jaden uh, Jaden FC not too shabby Vincent Hong he's also did very well gaming Charlie not too bad Dave Pack the great not that great this time around uh, Shane O'Donnell he did okay Fernando Jose Garcia de Mund with an edit not too bad the Phantom not too bad as well M football mapper top banana fair play fair play uh, well so we got Il Michelinosa Issa he did okay Mr Matt Russ not too shabby Russell Frost respect to you sir for being a patron much love much love Yannick Buster not too bad Nathan Heaver kicking it there as well love it love it but you did okay Mark Chapman did top banana 
Nana, well done to you. Absolutely show, still in the show. Moritz Spatelli, not too bad. Mike Gallagher, of course, he is the current. Uh, before these the results come in, he was your prediction king as it stands. Uh, he did okay for himself, not too bad this time around. So, respect to you, sir, but I think you might be losing your crown. Oh, Oma Mura as well. Patreon, respect to you, sir. Fair play, fair play. Roberto Hollis, he did okay. Matt Gunner, not too bad. Club skills, he did bits. And James Bagnall, not too shabby. Victor Carvalho, also did very, very well. And we are QPR, also did very, very well. It's the back end here. Shepard, where you are, sir. Patreon, much love to you. Uh, you did very, very well. Tam, too, too swaft. He did pretty good. Or swat, I don't know. Uh, Nova Langham, Dean Bariesta, did top banana. Well done, well done. And LG and Cow at the back end there, also did very, very well. So, here are your current match number. Well, this is for this week and this week only. This is your leaderboard. Let's take a look at it, shall we? Ultra Omar Murat, Nathan Heber, Mr. Matt Russ, uh, Moritz Spitatelli, Elgin Cowan, to pack the great. All there, rock bottom, 24th joint. Uh, at the top of the table, it is we have a three-way tie for today or this week. Anyway, football mapper Mark Chapman and Novin Magnum uh, get themselves 83% success rate. And then there's a whole chasing pack, including uh, Cody Go, Russell Frost, Matt Gunner, Joel Cook as well. So that is your, your, your best your best performance for week number six. How about who is the overall leader in the Scottish Premiership? Well, let's take a look, a look at it, uh, shall we? There might be a, an element of doubt with these, but we'll have to see. So 48 predictors all in all have taken part since the get-go. I'm in there. My scores are not counted. I've not done my bit this week. I will add it next time. So Cody Caho, Matt Gunner, Russell Frost and Mike Gallagher are currently your prediction kings out in Scotland. They have a, a success rate of 58%. It's quite tight, though, at the top uh, with, with uh, folks all the way down uh, to ninth. Shepherds in there as well. Ultra Oma Murat. Uh, who else do we have in there? There's Ultra Oma Murat should have, a, should have a thing, right? He should. He should have a little uh, Dougal flips. I believe. Yeah, he should. He should. He should, have a, he should have a little Patreon squiggle next to his name. He knows he is. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll correct that next time around. But anyway, um, so your leader, Cody Co, Matt Gunner, Russell Foss and Mike Gallagher, as it stands, they are your royalty for the time being out in Scotland. But of course... It's not a match. It's not a sprint, folks. It is a marathon. And we're going to go rolling into the next match day. Match day number seven now coming at you. We're going to start with Aberdeen up against Kilmarnock. Let's take a closer look at this bad boy then, shall we? This match will take place. When will it take place? It will take place on the 12th of September, which is a Saturday. Aberdeen have taken on Kilmarnock 223 times and they've won 107 of them uh, over the course of time. They've also lost 74 uh, of these bad boys and drawn 43 as well. The last six, though, between two sides, three wins for Aberdeen, zero for Kilmarnock and three draws. The last time they played each other was in Kilmarnock. It was a 2-2 draw back in uh, March before lockdown. Uh, Brofrey and Kilty on the score sheet for Kilmarnock. McGinn and McClellan on the score sheet for Aberdeen. The last they played in Aberdeen was a 0-0 draw in the Scottish Cup back in uh, February as well. And that's the bit in the league in Aberdeen. A Pitodre was a 3-0 win for Aberdeen back in 2000, uh, end of 2019. Kilmarnock have actually lost nine of the last 11 away matches in the Premiership, whereas Aberdeen have actually won their last three matches. Kilmarnock have also conceded at least two goals in six of the last seven away matches. So they're not the greatest bit of form at the moment. The bookies go go with Aberdeen 4-3 on Red Hot Favourites. 13-5 is your draw. And 15-4 is your away win. A win for Aberdeen, who currently find themselves in fourth, could actually go up to third with a win. And a meanwhile, a win for Kilmarnock, who are currently find themselves in ninth, could also go as high as fifth in the table. But I'm going to go with Aberdeen on this one, staying playing safe. They're looking good at the moment. And again, Aberdeen will be in the discussion for top four and maybe even uh, battling in those top three spots. Next up, we have Livingston up against Hamilton Academicals. Now, this game will take place on, of course, the same day, Saturday, the 12th of September. Heading into this, these two sides play each other 31 times, eight victories for Livingston. And 13 victories for uh, Hamilton and 10 draws. Now, the last six, those these two wins for Livingston, two wins for Hamilton, and two draws. They last time they played each other. Uh, was in Hamilton. It was back at the start of the year. Uh, 25th of January. It was a 4-2 win for Livingston. Six goal by Bidazza. Craig Searbold got himself a, couple, a goal. Aaron Taylor, Sinclair, Stephen Lawless and Scott Pittman as well for Livingston. Meanwhile, the goals for Hamilton, Sean Want and Sam Woods as well. The last time they played each other in Livingston was a 0-0 draw uh, back in November 2019. Livingston actually undefeated in 10 of the last 11 matches at home. Pretty savvy record as well, but they come into this um, what is their record? They've just won defeat of the past four games. That was against Aberdeen a couple of games back. Meanwhile, Hamilton have actually just won win of the past, uh, well, one win this season, really, and that was against Motherwell uh, a couple of games, well, a couple of games back. Anyway, the bookmakers' odds on that one. Uh, 
What are we at? Four to three. Four to three on for Livingston. Red hot favourites. Five to two is your draw. Fifteen to four is your away win. A win for Livingston. Currently find themselves in tenth. Could actually shoot up as high as fifth. Meanwhile, for Hamilton, they're in eleventh. And win for them because they also could shoot up as high as ninth. Gonna go with. I'm going with the draw. I'm going with the draw. I, I was gonna go with Livingston. I thought. I, I believe I was gonna go with Livingston, but I'm going with what's on paper, and that is a one-one draw. Don't know. You can question my logic, but I just, I just, yeah, there must be something in the water. Next up, we have Motherwell taking on the Super Jays. Now, these two sides have duked it out 139 times, 62 victories for Motherwell, 47 victories for Super Jays, and 30 draws. The last six, though, has been four wins for Motherwell, two for St. Johnson, and zero draws. The last time they played each other was at Sioux St. Johnson, and it was a 2 1 win back in February 2020. Callum Hendry on the goals, uh, Christopher Kane as well. Chris Long got the one and a goal for Motherwell with Christine Manzinga getting himself sent off. The last time they, they played each other in Motherwell was a 4 0 with the event. Cole on the score sheet, Peter Hartley, Jack Carroll, or Jake Carroll, and Christy Menzinger again. Uh, meanwhile, Motherwell have actually failed to score in five of the last six matches in the Premiership, and they've also failed to win their last seven matches as well. The bookmakers on this bad boy, even Stevens for Motherwell, 12 to 5 is your draw, 11 to 4 is your away win. A win for uh, Motherwell, who are bottom, could actually shoot up as high as ninth. Meanwhile, their opposition, St. Johnston, a win for them in seventh, could actually shoot up as high as third, depending on what goes on elsewhere. I'm going with Motherwell. I know that they, they finished third last round. They're better than this. They are better than this they just had a rough start i think they'll bounce back with a 2-1 win uh on this match day next up we have uh rangers taking on dundee united now these two sides have locked horns 184 times 102 victories for the rangers 39 victories for dundee and 42 draws now the last six though has been two wins for rangers four wins for dundee united uh there's been no draws the last time they played each other was in 2014 in ibox there was a 3-1 win in the scottish championship might i add uh stuart armstrong is that is that right Scottish Cup, Scottish Cup, Scottish Cup. Correct me if I'm wrong, Scottish Cup. Uh, Stuart Armstrong, Gary McKay, Stephen and uh, Nifka Shively on the score sheet for Dungeon United. Stephen Smith got the one and goal for Rangers. Last time they played each other in the league was in 2005. Uh, sorry, 2012. It was a 5-0 win for Rangers in Ibrox. Goal scorers were Sona Luco, Jamie Ness, Stephen Whitaker and Andre Joe Beyonde. Rangers actually won 13 in the last 15 home matches and kept a clean sheet in the last seven. Uh, Rangers have also scored at least two goals in the last three home matches. The bookmakers will go with Rangers, I'm pretty dang sure. Uh, uh, five to one on Renault favourites. Eleven to two is your draw. Twelve to one is your your away win for Dundee United. Of course, Rangers are top of the pops. They could go as high as nineteen points and could be as good a good distance between themselves and second place Hibs if everything else goes right. Then for them, meanwhile, Dundee United if they were victorious in eighth, they could go as high as third. But I can't see it myself. I'm going with a comfortable three 0 win for Rangers at Ibrox. No questions asked. Meanwhile, Ross County taking on Celtic. Of course, uh, when's this one? It's on the same day, same day as well. Uh, these two sides locked horns just twenty eight times three victories for Ross County, 90 for Celtic, and six draws. The last six, though, uh, has been six out of six for Celtic. They won six on the spin. Uh, the last uh, six encounters in Ross County has seen one win for Ross County, one draw, and four wins for Celtic, but it's still... Um uh, Ross County have, have only won once at the past four years and that was in the Scottish League Cup where they beat them 3-1 uh, all the way back in January 2016. Martin was Paul Quinn and Alex Schalk with Gary McKay Stephen on the score sheet for Celtic. However, the last time they did play each other was back in 2019 in December. 4-1 win. Uh, Ryan Christie with a couple of goals. Thomas Rogic and Michael Johnston with Ross Stewart getting one and go for uh, Ross County. The bookmakers on, on this one. In fact... Celtic have actually won 23 of the last 26 matches in the Premiership, but the bookmakers will go with 14 to 1 for Ross County, 6 to 1 is your draw, 6 to 1 on is your Celtic victory on this one. Of course, Celtic playing catch up with uh, with Rangers, uh, just four games so far, but a win for them could actually see them go into second spot above Hibs. And that's what I think, folks. 3 1 win for Celtic in the end. And wrapping it up, it'll be St. Mirren up against Hibs. This game will take place on Saturday as well, according to my knowledge. 233 times these two sides have locked horns, 70 victories for St. Mirren, 104 for Hibs, and 59 draws. The last six though. Seen zero wins for St. Mary and two draws and four wins for Hibs. The last time they played each other was at Easter Road in February 2020. It was a 2-2 draw. Scott Allen and Christian Doidge on the score sheet for Hibs. Conor McCarthy and Tony Adaradu on the score sheet for St. Mary. The last they played in St. Mary though was back in November 2019. It was a 2-1 win for uh, Hibs as well. Judah Mora, yes, for scoreline for St. Mary and Christian Doidge and Stephen Mellian on the score sheet for Hibs. St. Mary actually undefeated in the last seven home matches. Um, Hibs have also won the last three away matches as well. Uh, the bookmakers will probably go with Hibs. 11 to 4 is your, your odds for St. Mirren for the victory. 9 to 4 is your draw. 21 to 20 is your win for Hibs. Hibs could actually go mathematically top of the table if they were to spank 
uh, St. Mirren and Rangers would take a bit of a heavy defeat. Uh, but they could also be as low as uh, third if Celtic were to be victorious and they also slip up. But I can't see it myself. I think Hibs will take it 2 and win away from home to give themselves a, uh, a bit of a response, of course, uh, since that uh, slip up against Aberdeen. That, my friends, is where I think will happen uh, this coming match day out in Scotland. Be sure to get your own predictions in nice and early for Scottish Premiership. And of course, uh, if I'm a bang on the nose, this is what the table would look like at the end of it. Yes, it is. Hamilton will still be uh, towards the foot of the table. Motherwell move up a little bit into 11th. Aberdeen up to fourth, Celtic into third, Rangers and Hibs still in the top two spots with Rangers leading outright. That, my friends, is what I think will happen in the old prediction stakes. Uh, what do you guys think? Get your own predictions in nice and early for this bad boy as we look forward to this match day coming right around the corner. Anyway, again, about the old prediction league. Um... There might be some element of error and stuff like that. Sometimes I miss people off. And if I if I have done, if I've completely missed you off, just let me know in the comment section and I will make the live Google sheet, which does have the leaderboard always active to its to its finest state. I'll amend it and to make sure that uh, when you when we come back around to revisit these next results, that uh, that uh, all the scores are up to date as well as it can be. It's difficult. It's very, very difficult. Uh, if, if I'm looking for a, a better way to do this because it is mind numbingly tough. Very, very tough. Anyway, that's it. Again, give the video some love in. Smash the thumbs up. And of course, smash the subscribe if you're new. Check out the description next to my other social media platforms or in the Twitter, Facebook, and all that kind of jazz. Be sure to check all those out. And of course, if you want to support the channel in another way, you can become a Patreon. That's right. Uh, and that's the place where it's all at. It's where, the, it's where all the parties are happening, boys. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And that, my friends, is where I'm going to leave you. I'll see you all very, very soon. Until then, be safe out there. Six feet. Mask up. All that stuff. Until then, I'm out.